Welcome to StarCraft Craft Stars. I'm Gillyweed, here with a collection of fan art for the WCS Season 2 Grand Finals. This weekend, 16 of the top StarCraft 2 players from around the world came together to compete for what has got to be the coolest esports trophy ever. Well, that and 3,000 WCS points, bragging rights, and a $40,000 cash prize. So with all that at stake, let's take a look at our first finalist, brought to you by Fishu. Hailing from WCS Korea, Bomber is a strikingly decisive player who loves his macro, which is probably why Fishu decided to picture the Terran player here with mules raining down around him. Although his strategies vary, Bomber's play often centers around building a tenacious army before marching a steady stream of units to his opponent's bases. This aggression eventually overwhelms his opponents to the point of defeat, as you can see in this clip from his match versus Scarlet. This is by 108 to 69 right now. Scarlet in a lot of trouble. These failings need to connect really, really nicely. Some of them do get good connections, but still Widowmines clean up quite a lot of that. The Mutalisks are all that's left, and the reinforcing army of Bomber marches forward and says, no Mutalisks, not today. Like this Marine painted by Deviant artist Frostbite Dude, Bomber nearly defeated his Zerg opponent. This 3-2 victory over Scarlet guaranteed him a spot in the semifinals, where he then took on Tasia. Although many picked Tasia to take the match, Bomber's 90% win rate versus Terran struck true, and the Startail player advanced to the Grand Finals to face Jadong. Jadong is known for his insane ZVZ win rate, and historically, his worst matchup is versus Protoss. But you wouldn't have known it from WCS since he beat Rain 2-0, MC 2-1, Naniwa 3-1, and then first 3-0 in his path to the Grand Finals. In fact, his match versus Naniwa was extra important since he had yet to best the Protoss player in a tournament. Yeah, this wall is going to go and then the units will start as well. He's even using all his Mothership Core energy, but we do have this counterattack going on right now. How much damage can be done? A lot of Speedlings coming back, surrounding those Immortals. Can he save the Hatchery? It looks like he will. Oh, it's going to be close. It seems like he will be able to, but it's going to be safe. But the Immortal drops down. It gets one hit to oh! Seems to be working here for the Swede. Naniwa down majorly in supply. Oh my god, one volley off from killing that hatchery. Some great micro on both sides. But Jadong is looking unstoppable right now. Pushing forward, so many circles. GG! What I love about watching StarCraft is how top players like Bomber and Jadong know exactly how to provoke responses from their opponents. They plan strategies several moves in advance and then strike once the trap is set. It's easy to draw parallels to high-level chess, but just in case it wasn't easy enough, Deviant artist Stitchy Incorporated lays it all out on the board with these Zerg vs. Terran chess pieces. Let's see whose strategy earned the checkmate in the WCS Season 2 Grand Finals. Jadong is going to start to make his movement here. Bomber's going to push him. He's going to push him, and in comes Jadong. But I feel that Bomber has way too many units here. The spread is amazing. The bed is coming from many different angles, but with the units coming in, Bomber sticks it. A 70 supply advantage. GG! 4-0 Autosis, 4-0. Bomber is your WCS Season 2 champion. Make some noise for Bomber! Congratulations to Bomber, the WCS Season 2 champion. Every match was worth watching, so if you missed any, ESL TV has all the VODs online. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next week.